Anytime I see tobacco in a fragrance, I'm already interested. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be something that I really like. Maybe the note isn't prominent at all. So you have to go into these things with a grain of salt. But with the fragrance called Tobacco Rush, immediately I had a pretty good feeling that this was gonna to be tobacco-centric. So of course, I pulled the trigger on it. It's Afnan's Tobacco Rush. It's a new release, and we're gonna talk all about this one today. Immediately, one of the things that you'll see when this one is being talked about is it's a clone of Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud. You know, you guys remember this one right here, Tobacco Oud by Tom Ford, and that's significant because this is a discontinued fragrance. Uh, it's really hard to come by these days. Here recently, there's been a couple times where bottles have popped back up. A lot of times 100 mil bottles, which is really cool. And I posted about it both times on my community tab. So a lot of you guys were able to get your own bottle of tobacco oob. Maybe you've been on the hunt looking for it because it's been very, very scarce. And so that's why I encourage you guys to stalk my community tab so you get those deals. But it's kind of just one of those things where they just pop up out of random and maybe you're quick enough, maybe you're not. And also, it's gonna to continue to probably go up in price a little bit. Basically, this is a rare one. And so, if you're able to potentially buy something that has a little bit of a similarity, people are gonna be all over it. So I'm gonna talk about what this one is similar to, if it is similar to Tobacco Oud or not. I'm gonna go over performance and all of that stuff. So we'll start off, of course, with how it smells. Uh, right off the bat, when you first spray this one on, whether you're spraying it up in the air or on your skin, it is Tobacco City, no joke. So this one does live up to its name. They're not using just a small amount and they're not using a designer level amount. It's straight up strong, heavy, hard hitting tobacco right off the top. Tobacco and a little bit of a leathery feel, even though there isn't leather listed in here, I kind of pick up on some, kind of a rich animalic leather accord. A bunch of woods, some spicy accords, and then also a good dose of sweetness, like a tonka bean, benzoin, vanillic sweetness. But really, at the end of the day, whether you're talking opening or dry down, it's gonna be all about the tobacco. So that begs the question, what does this smell like? Because of course, it is from a clone brand. Afnan is known for their clones, first and foremost. They do have some original creations, of course, but they're known for their heavily inspired by or blatant clones of popular and maybe not so popular fragrances, right? They're not trying to be original with most of their releases here. And so with that, you automatically expect it to be similar to some sort of popular tobacco scent going into it. You just don't know what exactly it is until you smell it yourself and make up your mind on what you think it smells similar to. And I'll tell you what I pick up on. To me, immediately, it reminded me a, a good a bit of Mancera's Red Tobacco, that strong, stringent tobacco accord. But another fragrance that it reminded me heavily of was Mystery Tobacco. The reason why is because Mystery Tobacco is kind of a hybrid of a few other tobacco fragrances, and you'll see in a minute that, um, what is this, Tobacco Rush is even more of a hybrid. It's kind of hybrid inception here. So mystery tobacco, it's got a little bit of red tobacco, a little bit of, you know, kind of Parfums de Marley, Carlisle, that sort of thing going on in here. It's a little bit more wearable. And so I found for me with Tobacco Rush, it has a little bit of red tobacco smell, but it also has kind of some of the toned back, laid back uh, accents of mystery tobacco because this one here does kind of bring it back and chill it out a little bit makes it a bit more wearable and mass pleasing overall you know red tobacco carlisle can be very polarizing for sure and i kind of find that this one goes in a similar direction they're walking the dna back just a little bit to make it a little bit more appealing to a slightly wider audience but again, I don't want you to get it twisted here. Still tobacco centric. You gotta be into that note to like this one. If you're not, then you're gonna hate this stuff. So do be careful there. But to that note, if you like tobacco and fragrances and you're okay with a pretty strong dose of it, you cannot go wrong with this one, especially at the price point. I'll link it down below where I got mine for the best price, about $50, $55 for uh, an 80 mil to an eau de parfum. Great deal for the quality that you get here. And now it begs the question, tobacco oud, are they similar? Personally, I think there's a little bit of resemblance to tobacco oud, mainly in the sweetness of this. So, you know, mystery tobacco, red tobacco, Carlisle, they've got 
somewhat of a sweetness, but really what those encompass is just uh, some supporting kind of depth. So instead of just getting all tobacco and that's it, you do get some other notes that soften the DNA up, but they aren't traditionally sweet fragrances. They're still tobacco heavy. There's just balance with those. But I find that with Tobacco Rush throughout my testings here, you do get a consistent actual sweet accord in this one. And actually one of the notes on this is sweet notes. And again, for me, it's like a tonka bean, benzoin, kind of ambery smell to not only just give it balance, but to go above and beyond and actually give it some, some sweet accords to where you actually pick up on it and it's part of the scent itself and kind of stands out. Real quick, I'll tell you the note breakdown. Up top, front and center, we have tobacco, spicy notes, and woody notes. In the mid, we have sweet notes, spicy notes again, and lavender. Base, amber, uh, oud, and cedar wood. So a little bit of oud, which again, kind of is what reminds me a bit of that red tobacco deal. Red tobacco utilizes some of that signature Mancera oud in there, and you kind of pick up on some of that here. And also the oud is gonna tie it in a little bit more to tobacco oud. Now one thing that um, Tobacco Rush here does not have is it doesn't have the boozy accords that tobacco oud has. God, is tobacco inception here. So much going on, a lot to keep track of, but not really a booziness here. But again, it has that sweetness and the oud, and that's what will tie it into tobacco oud a little bit. There are definitely similarities here but I wouldn't say that it's a straight on tobacco oud clone 100%. To me, it definitely goes further into the direction of the other ones I've been referencing here ad nauseum at this point in this video. I feel like I've been talking tobacco, tobacco, tobacco. That's kind of what this is all about, but it's just a lot of information going on. So to summarize this one, kind of mixes the best of both worlds with a few of the main tobacco heavy hitters, and then also throws in some discontinued tobacco oud uh, characteristics. So the quality on this one's fantastic. And you know, it's one of those deals where niche snobs and anti-cloners are gonna just hate on this one immediately. They're gonna look at the presentation, which I will admit is a little bit loud, a little bit tacky perhaps. And they're gonna call it cheap looking and they're gonna say, oh, the scent probably is super cheap. Realistically, this is good quality stuff. And as you guys know, anyone who actually watches my channel and keeps up with the videos and rather than just commenting without really watching, you would know I call it like it is. And if something smells cheap or synthetic, I have no problem saying that. But this one really does have a nice, smooth, refined nature to it. It smells well thought out. It doesn't smell like something that's been thrown and mushed together just to be thrown out there into the world to make money off of it. This has uh, layers and it feels like everything fits into its own place here in this one. It's not jumbled together. So the quality is great. It's an eau de parfum. Performance on my skin has been consistently above average, about eight and a half, nine hours or so longevity and strong projection. It's one of those deals where first couple times I was testing it, I was spraying it on pretty heavily. Um, you know, four sprays, five sprays, whatever, um, just because, uh, just, I, I don't know, I just felt like doing it that way. And uh, soon after, I'm like, you know what? I was a bit heavy handed there because as I was going out throughout my day and stuff and kind of temperatures were changing from feeling like fall and then feeling a little bit more like summer again, uh, it was getting to the point where I'm like, yeah, I've been over spraying it. For me and my preference, I only need two sprays, maybe three with this one at least for my own personal enjoyment, because I just need to be able to smell myself just enough, right? Just smell myself to where it's not annoying. I can test it, I can get an idea of what it smells like, and that's good for me. I don't need to be assaulted by my own fragrance for hours on end. And now if I were going out, you know, in a bar situation, around a bunch of people, I would go further in that direction I was talking about, five, maybe six sprays and really just crush it. But when I'm testing it at home, I don't need that. It is a strong scent all the way around. That projection will catch up to you. So that's gonna do it for me, Tobacco Rush by Offnot. Another solid, solid addition to my collection here. It's a great way for me to you know, save just some of my more expensive tobacco fragrances. Now, yeah, I do have enough fragrances, right? It's not like I need to be worried about saving everything, right? Um, you know, it's kind of a mindset that you can fall into and maybe it's toxic. 
if you're buying expensive fragrances but then not wearing them because you want to save them. I understand there are both sides to every situation when it comes to clones and this and that. I'm still going to wear Carlisle. I'm still going to wear Red Tobacco. I'm even still going to wear Tobacco Oud if I'm in the mood for it. I've got a 100 mil backup still sealed. I'm going to be good. But it is nice to have this as a beater. If I'm going to spray it on and then take a shower a couple hours later and switch out to something else, I just feel like wearing a tobacco fragrance up until then. Instead of wasting an expensive one for a couple hours, this is a beater fragrance at that point when you compare the prices of the others, and I'm okay with that. And if you're someone who's on a budget right now, like a lot of us are, and you can't really swing the money to get into some of those other expensive ones I've been talking about because they are expensive, um, this is a great place to start, and it will give you an idea if that DNA is for you or not. That's gonna do it for me, Tobacco Rush. I will link it down below. Highly encourage you guys to check this one out. At this price point, you can't go wrong with it, especially for the upcoming cooler months here. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.